Essentially, okay, like uh, I think I chose a topic has big data delivered its ROI promise. How many of this in this room actually work in the enterprise software area? So how many of, I think basically I'm trying to pose some question out there, say that because, you know, base, I'm coming from an area what we call, I work for an enterprise software company, which has got a probably 50, 40, 50 year old history. And then we work on, you know, multiple systems that practically carry all of the history of the software industry put together, I would say that. So in that context, I'm asking is basically, how many of you actually in the enterprise software system have done some POCs in big data area or machine learning or whatever it is? I see very few hands, right? Or, or of these, how many actually went and, you know, in fact, why I'm trying to do this question is more than because basically we say that, you know, I want to share our experiences and how we went about building a big data science practice and how we can go ahead and, you know, what are the key lessons that we learned while doing this four, five years of, uh, since we started the practice five years back and how do we get it, okay? So, I think, I presume that, you know, I think uh, in the enterprise software, I have seen very few guys who have basically got it from a, RO, from a POC to, you know, to get to the production system, right? Can I take that as a statement, yes or no? Okay, fine. That's that in good luck. Like, fun. So in that context, you know, to put in the context, actually, to understand what Broadly is all about, if you look at the statement, it basically it says that we are the most important stream in the Wall Street, but people de don't hear much of it. What do you mean by that? Essentially, that means that we are a company that does most of the back-end transaction processing for, you know, good part of the, you know, I would say that good part of the Fortune 500 companies are the listed companies. That is one aspect of it. And we are the service provider for all big financial institutions. That is one. And secondly, I think all of you know what something called investor communication services, where, you know, share, companies try to communicate with shareholders. So in that, in that space, we got approximately 80 plus, 80 plus, I would say that, you know, market share. That means that most of the proxy communication that happens in the U.S. markets goes through our systems. Coming to that now. So, essentially, what I would want to say is, as a Broadridge, as a company, you know, data is the core asset to Broadridge. Why? Because I'll give a simple example or basically say, bring it out, why data is a core asset for us. See, essentially, we process around 5 trillion uh, notional value of Securities, your value and securities of fixed income, liquid securities, day in and day out. That is one aspect of it. That means what? And this gives approximately the market share of 60.